Hello guys, Rico here and welcome to today's video. I haven't done a top list in a while, so I might be a bit rusty. The topic of this video are cards that were played not because of their effects, but, but because of what they were, be it attribute, type, name, level, etc. For what the player cares, those are the things that matter. The actual effect, if there is any, doesn't. Also, I couldn't for the love of Ra think of a number 5 on this list, so it's a top 4 instead. I probably missed something, so please remember to point it out. So let's start with number 4, which is a tie between the Red Eyes Black Dragon and Elemental Hero Neos. Those are high level vanilla monsters from the Dual Monsters and GX setters respectively, and those are, especially Red Eyes Black Dragon, played in conjunction with Predaplan Varte and Akonda to summon their most powerful fusion monsters, those being Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and Rainbow Neos. There are actually no no other reason for those cards to be played deck unless it's a dedicated Red Eyes or a Neos deck. And the card that takes the bronze is X Saber Palomuro. I'd be lying if I said this card didn't inspire me to make this list. Palomuro was relevant during Pepe Magician format in 2015-2016. The only reason this card was played were its stats. The card is a level 1 Air of Reptile Tuner. Being a reptile made it searchable thanks to the then very popular King of the Feral Imps. Being a level 1 Earth Tuner made it possible for it to be used with a level 4 earth monster as material to summon the Churia Beast. And the popularity of this card had nothing to do with its effect whatsoever. And now we're getting to the good stuff. Number 2, Gem Knight Amber, was a short-lived card in Broken Fusion Thunder Dragons. The reason this card was played in the deck was its name, being a Gem Knight monster made it a valid target for Brilliant Fusion, its type, and the fact it was a Gemini monster. The last part was crucial, since should the player draw into Amber, there was still an option to set it face down and then use it as material to summon Thunder Dragon Colossus. That worked because Amber is a Thunder monster, and while face down, it doesn't register as a normal monster, so it fits the requirements to summon Colossus. And now the one, the only, the card from which mandatory engine cards are named after, Gemini the Garnet. It was played in the Brilliant Fusion Engine for one reason only, because it was the level 4 or lower Gemini monster with the highest attack. There was no other reason. The engine, which focused solely on summoning Gemini Seraphine, didn't require a specific gem knight, be it by name or type. It required a gem knight. That's why it didn't matter which monster you chose. Coronet, however, as being the one with the highest attack was the most common choice. And with this, the list is wrapped up. If I missed anything, please remember to point it out in the comments below. Leave a like should this kind of content interest you and you want to see it more frequently. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!